All right, the ospreys are audible again, so we're here at the Southern Georgia Southern University Armstrong campus. I can never remember the correct way to say that name because it's the Georgia Southern University and this is the Armstrong campus because they have multiple campuses. But anyways, we're going down here to visit the ospreys in their nest in the cell phone tower. There was just a giant crane over here the other day, so I can only assume they were removing the nest that was built there last year, because that was giant. So these ones are gonna have to build a whole new nest. There's just this big parking lot here, and then the cell phone tower is up behind these trees, and you can see it from down here. And when we're done with the ospreys, I'll make a video about different cool plants you can find here growing wild. You'll start to see the cell phone tower behind the trees. And I have my was new in 2007 camera. So I'll zoom in with the camera and take pictures with that and then we'll see if the camera screen will show up on here. I don't know how to add pictures to a video afterward. And there they just called again. Let me cross it right here and see if we can see them better. Not really from this angle. I can see the one. Let's try zooming in. Okay, that's not really gonna work. Oh, uh, we'll just keep recording on the phone in case they decide to call really loudly. I'm gonna walk further down this way because you can usually see them a bit better. Like that. Now, if only there weren't any cars. Oh, there's one sitting directly at that very top. I can see its tail. That's funny. So I can get them both in frame on the camera with just one of their butts showing. Usually if you stand over here, you can see them a bit more. So this is like the universe, I don't know. You. They're doing it again. They've got that really high pitched call that's just like a bunch of little sharp calls. Might have to stand in the grass here. Uh, yeah, I still can't really see the one on the top. Oh, now I see its head. 
So I just have to get a different angle. So we're gonna walk this way. Sorry to see it. If it were facing this way, it'd be perfect. Okay. So I guess we're just giving up on getting good pictures unless the one sitting at the very top decides to turn around. Gonna keep recording with the phone though in case they decide to start calling. Yeah. Can't really see them on the camera because it's not high quality enough. Well, while we're here, I'll just stop talking whenever they start calling. It's really windy now, so that might be loud. There's a turkey vulture flying really high overhead. That little black speck there. Alright, well, while they're being quiet, if you are standing directly across from it, beneath these grapevines here, you turn around, and there is this plant. This is Fetterbush Lyonia. It's related to blueberries, but I don't know if it's edible. But these are the kind of flowers the blueberry type plants have. So this is an evergreen. You can tell from the very thick leaves. Oh, shoot. There's a spider web I was just touching. Sorry, whoever lives in there. But this one has a bunch of flowers on it. I don't know if the berries are edible. And then there's a young one next to it here. There's also a water oak. We're just gonna go over every plant I see. Some more feather bush Lyonia. With some more young stems and another one here. It has tiny little baby flowers. Oh, I knew it. One of them just flew away. I assumed to go get six. The one, the one that was sitting on the very top just flew away. The other one that's sitting on the side is still there. But I can't actually show you on the phone camera because the digital screen on the actual camera reflects the phone screen. Although I might be able to turn the brightness up. Or at least I can show you a picture. I'll just point the camera up there. Okay. Well, anyways, until they start calling again. Uh, where were we? The fetter. Yeah. That is another feather bush Lyonia that's got flowers. Here's another mini one that has flowers. Yeah, that's the main one we already saw. We got that one. I feel like they're circling just behind these pine trees. 
Oh, no. It's flying that way. So it's probably going towards Bell's Landing to go catch fish. Or at least go find sticks. I can see some bird down there flying. Somebody just needs to invent eyeball cameras. Literally just for nature watching. Anyways, back to the plant side of things. The water oak here. Very big water oak. I'm gonna step here. I don't think there's a snake right here. There's this plant, which I'm not sure what this is. Unless this is also the American olive. Oh, the stupid gnats are biting me. Anybody flying around? Oh, this might be a baby. China berry? I'm not sure. Nope. Gnats are coming out of nowhere. The video might be over now. Okay. <laughs> well, we can check on the pot hole. <laughs> If you're wondering, there's ospreys nesting up there, so I think they both flew away for now, but I, they've been carrying sticks back and forth. So if you see a giant bird carrying a giant stick, yeah. that's the ospreys. <laughs> they had a nest up there last year, so. Mm. Yeah, I don't think they're there now, because I saw one flying that way towards Bell's Landing, so. But hopefully they'll be back. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Yep. Well, there's a wren in there. Okay, and we're gonna check on the small flower pawpaw here because we might as well. So to find the small flower pawpaw, find this pothole, and then look directly across from it. There's this big uh, southern live oak. No, not southern live oak. Southern red oak. And let me zoom in. You can kind of see the flowers. I don't have a stick to poke the leaves with because there are snakes out right now. Oh, Osprey's coming back. Oh, did it really just blur as soon as they landed? Of course it did. Alright, we're walking back this way. Yep, taking off again. So maybe it had a small stick. Or maybe the other one's still up there and it just brought it some fish. Can't tell if I see movement or not. Coming back. All right, now I have to get my actual camera ready. I feel like I just need to bring a chair and just sit. Oh, yep, it's got a stick. This one's carrying a little stick.
Okay, I'm trying to take actual good pictures with the actual camera. Maybe I can make a slideshow. I'll just keep this pointed here. Circling, kind of over to the side. Aren't you gonna drop your stick off? It's just flying overhead here. See if I can zoom in on here. Yeah, you can see it. It's carrying a little stick. Maybe they're just scoping out the area, making sure there's nobody else. Just landed up there. So there's another one coming in to land right now. Just got one of them circling away. Easy math. I think one of them is still up there. My arm is dying. <laughs> yeah, I think I just need to bring a chair and just sit here. With bug spray on. Alright, well the video is ending here because my arm is dead. Or not. The HD camera will. Okay, I'm gonna start a new video.